guys, and today I want to talk to you guys about tirzepatide. Tirzepatide is one of our newest, awesome weight loss therapies that we're offering to our patients. And it's actually the big bad brother of semiglutide, if you've ever heard of it. Tirzepatide works a little bit the same, but it works a little bit differently. So let's discuss that. It uses GIP and GLP-1, so glucogen-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide is GIP, and we have glucogen light peptide 1, okay? So these two things are working simultaneously to help you in a couple different ways. One, they're hitting the brain, making sure that it's putting that area that you don't want to eat, so the hunger goes away. Two, it actually slows down digestion. It doesn't freeze it, but it slows it down so you stay full longer, right? Third thing it does, it actually controls your hemoglobin A1C. If you don't know what that is, that's a three month blood sugar average in your body. You don't want that high because that could be diabetes and all these other negative things that come along with it. So you want that control. These three things are gonna help you lose weight, right? You're not gonna wanna eat as much. You can pick your food sources so they're good, right? Good food sources, small portions, and this will help you go into a calorie deficit, which will then give you weight loss. And this is the weight loss effect that you want. If you want something that's gonna work really good, tirzepatide might be the therapy for you for weight loss. Like I said, semiglutide works awesome. Tirzepatide, by the numbers and everything, works a little bit better. So if you're looking for a different option for weight loss, then you can call or text us today at 727-389-3220 and say, I wanna try the new tirzepatide weight loss therapy from Titan Medical Center. What's up guys, John here, and today I'm at the Motor Enclave here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Uh, I bought a, a garage here so I can keep my cars, it's a motorist community. The cool thing about the Enclave here is that they have a track where you can race your cars on, built by one of the top-notch F1 designers, right? This guy has created amazing tracks, and they put an amazing track out here with 11 loops. So if you don't know what that is, you can look it up after that, or you can see the video, and I'll explain it more later. But we're gonna do our driving orientation today. We're gonna do an off-road course, because they have an off-road track too, so that's awesome too. So if you're a Jeep person, off-road person, you got one of the buggies, Can-Ams, you can do that too. But if you got your exotic or your race car and you're a member of this community, then you can go on the track and race it. But they want to make sure that safety's first, and that's the key thing here. That's what this orientation's all about, to make sure that people are able to drive their vehicles without putting themselves or other people at risk of getting injured. And that's top notch, that's what the way it should be. So at that point, we're gonna get in these cars. The second one is gonna be in this Cadillac Blackwing. We're gonna race around here as fast as we can and hopefully not hit any cones. After that, we're gonna hit the F1 track and we're gonna go around and drive these cars. They have cars set for us, so I don't get to drive my car today or my cars, but I will in the future. Uh, but we're gonna take the cars for a spin. They're gonna show us they got a professional driver here. We're gonna follow him around and then we're gonna go for a lap by ourselves. Um, and they're gonna take us on a lab so we can see how they drive in the car. So come with me, we're gonna get the helmet, we're gonna get the little net thing that goes on my face, little mask, and get professional here and get ready to learn how to drive these cars, how they want us to drive. I got some driving experience on my own, but hey listen, you can always learn more, so stay tuned. You guys are gonna see this experience firsthand. Off-road here oh at the God. Enclave, on road, off-road course, let's go. Okay. Now. Oh, you guys better watch out. Oh. 
So guys, we just got off of the Can-Am Defender. We went through the jungle trails, they call it, and some of the off-road courses in here at the Motor Enclave, which we're gonna get the experience. So they were giving us like, the orientation of the course and kind of what's going on there and so you can get the lay of the land. Really cool, huh, Sharif? Super dope. I like driving. This is like my outlet, so I'm very excited to be here today. So um, after this, I think we are going to go and we're going to start doing this course right here with this Cadillac Blackwing. So this is a bad boy, this thing's fast. I like the color too. So obviously me and Sharice both did our test drives with the Cadillac, Blackwing. Um, my thoughts on the drive. You know, obviously the car is pretty quick for a, you know, a street car or whatever, but it's, you know, it's more of like, to me, it's more of like a luxury car. So it's a lot heavier than I think some of our cars are. And then the other thing about it was, was, you know, it's not, it's not down low, it's up high. And then obviously aerodynamics, more wind is bringing it up. So when you're taking the turns to go around, you feel the front end kind of lift up a little bit. And then you gotta like punch it to go around and the back end is swinging around. So yeah, I think it was cool. It was definitely good. I mean, listen, if you're gonna be driving a regular car on the street, you better be able to perform in one of these cars, not just a race car. What do you think? I mean, I thought it was awesome. I just like, I really like driving. You'll hear me say that in every video. Um, but this is super cool because you actually get to legally speed, which is amazing. Um, the guy in the car was super cool. He's giving me a little tips going around there, but you know, staying within the cones, best thing I can say is ride everything to the left, stay in the blue, so you don't have anything on the white and get some uh, points deducted. But I will say, I kept up with the boys. She did really <laughs> good, she did really good. I'm proud of her. So more driving experiences to come. So let's go to our next one. I think we're gonna go on the track now and, and get some other cars and race them around. I can't wait, let's go. Roll, about to get this M3, rock it, let's go. Listen guys, I just uh, drove the car around the track, did the whole track deal. Now it's Charissa's turn. It was definitely a blast. I can't wait to start opening these things up out here. Cadillac, let's go Blackwing. Let's do let's it. see what's going on here. Wow. 
All right, guys, so that's it. That was the whole driving experience here at the Motor Enclave for our orientation for us to be track ready. Can't wait. Now we can start bringing our own cars out here and get on the track. What do you think about that? I'm definitely ready to bring me the vehicles out here and go boom. It was an awesome experience today uh, from the instructors to even some of the people that were in our orientation class that have uh, garages here, really cool people, really interesting people too as yeah. well. I've met some cool people here. So we'll see you back here at the Motor Enclave with Titan Medical Center representing like you've never seen before. See you then. What's up guys, John here from Titan. And today I wanna to talk to you about something that is essential for you every single day to do. And that's sleep. That's right, sleep is an essential part, or should be, of your daily routine. And it'll help you in a number of different ways. Revitalizing your body, rejuvenating your body, recovering your body, so the next day you're not tired, or you're brain dead, you feel like a zombie walking around. This can happen with sleep deprivation or not getting enough sleep the night before, right? I think we've all been there, whether you study for a test all night, you've had to work on you know, work projects at night, or you've just stayed up and watched TV too late. Okay, I think we've all been there, don't worry about it. If this is happening you know, once in a while, that's one thing. But there are people out there that don't get the proper amount of sleep every single night, right? And that is an issue. So there's two types of people that sleep, or have problems sleeping, I should say. The first one is the person that cannot go to sleep. The wheels just keep turning, thinking about the day, what's happening next week, all the problems in their life, and they just can't go to sleep, right? So they stay up all night. They're either on their phones or watching TV, which will also keep you awake. The other person goes to sleep, but can't stay asleep. They wake up every single hour on the hour, you know, and wondering why they can't get back to sleep and trying to get back to sleep. And at that point, by the time they almost get back to sleep, that alarm is ringing for the next day for them to get up and do their daily routines, right? So what do we have here at Titan Medical Center that can help you guys sleep, get natural rest, can ease the mind, help anxious people, anxiety out there, and help you really get the proper rest that you need to every single day. Well, a great therapy that we offer our patients is our Titan Serenity. It has three main components to it. It has magnesium, taurine, and L-theanine. These three components together work synergistically to help you relax more. So you can go and get some sleep, right? And go to bed, get those wheels to stop turning and help you get into deep sleep, that REM sleep that you really want. Those sleepers that go to sleep and wake up every hour, you guys are the ones that would benefit the most from the REM sleep because you can't stay asleep. And that is where all the magic happens is when you do get that proper rest at night. You wake up rejuvenated, ready to go the next day, energetic, right? You're with it mentally. You're on it, on the ball, clicking, right? Rock and rolling. So guys, if you're looking for a great Titan therapy that can help you get to sleep and possibly stay asleep longer, then look at Titan Serenity. It's a really, really awesome therapy that we offer here. And it's helped a number of different patients out there. So if you want to know more about Titan Serenity, please call or text us at 727-389-3220. If you want to read up more about it, go to tightmedicalcenter.com. We have that therapy and all the other therapies that we offer. Please get a good night's rest. And if you need help, contact us today. We'd be happy to help you guys out. I'm John from Titan, and this is just another educational video about one of our Titan therapies that have helped a number of different patients and could possibly help you too. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week... Me and my beautiful wife here, we're going to give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship or your future relationship and make sure you guys don't make those mistakes that maybe we've made in the past maybe. or some of our people or friends or somebody we've heard of. So at that point, we want to make sure you guys are getting some good advice here. Um, and this week, it's a good one. It's talking all about teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Definitely does. 100%. Teamwork goes in every avenue of life pretty much. 
Um, you know, whether you're in a relationship, right? And you're in your job, you probably work with team members. Um, if you play sports, you have team members there. Um, so at that point, like, it's a really important thing. And even, let's talk about relationships. Teamwork is very, very important. And the reason why is because you guys are essentially a team. And you guys are going to work together no matter what it is. Or you it should. should. <laughs> if you guys you aren't should. working as a team. Yeah. And you a lot of people could. Don't. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I see a lot of problems with it because people are still, you know, when you go into a relationship, you're an individual, right? So you're the I in team, per se. But when you go into that team, that's when you guys, you know, come together. You guys start collaborating. You guys start planning things. You guys start doing these different things together. Um, but some people don't get out of that individualized situation in their head, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, because maybe it's a career thing. Yeah, I mean, they might have to hold everything at their job, so maybe they're just used to doing that. I know me personally, like, you know, I guess once I get in a certain mode, I have this, like, mode, and it just stays on all day, right? And some people can't turn that mode off. It's kind of the same thing, I think, you know, where yeah. let's just say they have to hold the burden at, at work. They may not really let go of the, I am going to make all the decisions right now, right here without making a team decision when they go home. Right. I mean, it's you know, common, I think. It, it is common, you know. I mean, but even in the light of where some people they just they compete with their spouse. I mean, and they shouldn't be competing with their spouse. If you guys are married for sure, 100%. Even if you guys are in a a dating relationship or girlfriend and boyfriend type deal, um it shouldn't be who gets the best of who. Right. right, the only time that that actually works is when you guys go to Dave and Buster's, and then you really do compete. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know how many ever, whoever gets the most baskets, <laughs> whoever wins the Mario Kart, <laughs> then you compete. Okay, outside of Dave and Buster's, no competing. It's okay it's to have to some, some fun competition <laughs> in games, but you know, in all seriousness, when you guys are doing serious things or you know you guys are making serious decisions, that's when the team comes into effect. And now one team member might be better at one thing than the other, right? But that's where you guys utilize each other's best of skills and make the best of these situations, scenarios, or your future planning. I mean, because that's what it's all about. I mean, team members come together, whether they like each other or don't. Now, if you're in a relationship, hopefully you like that you team member, You kind of have right? to. You know, even, even if you think about, like, let's say separated couples and stuff, right? Yeah. You guys have to work as a team for the kids. Yeah. And a lot of times it does come down to, like, kids, right? Yeah. So you should work as a team when it comes to making decisions for the kids. Yeah. You should work as a team to make things happen. So making things happen goes on many levels, right? So, for instance, I'm going to use me and John's. This is a very recent thing for us making it happen at the office, right? Let's just say that there's some things that need to happen at the office and we need to make it happen. And both of us need to work together as one because we're stronger together than individually, right? right. So we work together as one to get the job done and get it done extra, extra right. right. You know, so you do the same thing. You apply that same exact concept to, you know, okay, let's say you got three kids, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna go to soccer, I'm gonna do basketball, we're gonna meet up, we're gonna do dinner at eight. You know, like, and then you're working as a team, so everything gets done, right? Same thing when it comes, to, let's say it comes to house chores, right? And let's say that, you know, you've got this whole slew of laundry to do, right? So your husband's ever so kind of to say, listen, you know what, honey, I'll go ahead and I'll do the dishes. Just knock out those eight loads of laundry, right? But it's, you're working as a team to get the job done. So ultimately, regardless of what you guys do to make it get done, it has to get done, right? It's not, it's not going to do itself. Right. So you guys have to work together. And believe it or not, when you work together, not only will you probably get it done more efficiently, um, but you know, it's a little bit less seamless if you're working together as a team, everybody's on the same page, you're communicating, but teamwork is, is huge. And this comes financially. I mm -hmm. mean, that's the same exact thing too. Mm -hmm. Making sure everybody's on the same page financially mm -hmm. teamwork, you know, uh, let's say you want to put together a savings account, right? All right. From your check, a hundred bucks every week, your check, a hundred bucks every week. Guess what? We have money to go on a vacation at the end of the year. Teamwork. This is teamwork makes dream work going right mm -hmm. back to it, mm -hmm. you know? I agree. I mean, you know, when you're working as a team, you're going to be able to accomplish more things. Even if you divide and conquer as a team, right? Like she was saying, like, you know, you take her to soccer practice, I'll take him to baseball practice, you know, and we're working as a team to accomplish this. 
Um, it's a lot easier. There's less friction because you guys are on the same page. If you guys aren't on the same page, you guys are not going to be working as a team very well. Better get on the same page. That's when you guys, <laughs> yeah, that's when the communication comes into play. Communication. And we always come back to that. It's a very important one. I mean, you know, we covered every episode because it's really, it's key. And teammates communicate. Right. Whether you're on the basketball court. Even on the court, basketball court, right? right? They're still doing something in the you know, back or like, they have it set up. Hey, pass me the ball or, hey, I got a pick coming, you know. Or they got a up. wink or something, you know. Whatever it is, yeah. They <laughs> communicate in these ways to let their team member know what's going on so, you know, they can adapt to whatever the situation is. Right. And that's really what it is. And I know before we've talked about, you know, your own little language, your own little things to yeah. let your teammate know or your, your spouse or your partner know. A nice know. kick under the table works well, too. <laughs> Maybe that, you know, <laughs> we need to get out of this situation. It, it's easier to read your teammate. And, you know, going along with the teammate thing, when you're doing these things together, it's bonding. Mm-hmm. It's bringing you guys closer. You, you don't guys, even realize it, but you don't. it really does. You know, you have no idea. And then you can look back at these, you know, situation scenarios. Maybe... They were bad ones at that time, and you can sit back and laugh at them now because you guys got through them. You guys got through them as a team. Accomplished And it. you guys accomplished whatever task it was or goal or you had to get. overcame it, right? Yeah, for sure. It's mean, huge. I, I, I think that's a, that's definitely the thing. You win together, you lose together. Yeah, right? it's not an individualized thing. Because, I mean, not. ultimately, if you guys really are a couple, right, and this is what we're talking about, relationship goals. Yeah. It, what one does affects the other. For sure. Regardless, if For you sure. think it does or doesn't, it might be mentally, it might be physically, it might be emotionally, it might be financially. Either way, you look at it, you guys are bonded in all of those platforms. Yep. So you guys have to make sure that you guys are working as a team or it's going to affect one or the other. And, right. God, and I mean, that's the best way to do it. You know, teamwork, communication, right. huge. So, you know, this is for mostly couples that are together, right? Because they're already together. They've already bonded to a certain point. They're already on each other's team. You know, if you're single, right? Because there are single people that probably watch this too as well. <laughs> you know, at that point, when you're looking for a partner, look for a good teammate too as well. Right. That's somebody that's interacting with you, communicating with Responsive. you. Responsive. And that's not something that might happen in the first two dates, but uh, probably not. You can you can d- definitely tell within. I, I would say the first month or so, of like, you know, this girl or this guy is going to be a really good teammate. They. You know, they include me in things. They're bringing up good points. They're trying to help me as well as me help them and not just a one-way street. Right. You know, there's a lot of relationships and stuff like that or people out there where it's a one-way street. Like, right. you know, one person is doing everything, breaking their back, um, making things happen, where the other one kind of just, you know, just enjoys the ride, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's not a teammate either. It's you like know? a dead weight. Exactly. You don't want dead weight or toxicity. And you're only, what, as strong as your weakest link? Is that what you normally you're say? You're only as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, John said right? that all the time. The chain or the chain's going to break. Right. So, you know, if you got, you know, a great team, and, you know, let's talk about our office here, right? We've got a great team. But I always tell Sharice, like, you know, that one person, she might say, oh, you know, this person is probably the weakest here. I'm like, well, your weakest link is your, you know, essentially what's going to make us fail here so right. we got to make sure that that chain is strong too that link is fortified um and the relationship's the exact same thing trust comes into play too as a teammate you got to trust your teammate because yeah. you know then you got to come through on the other end though yeah you got to follow through absolutely like you know if you say you're going to do something then do it and you know kind of goes back to like you know I, we came across this other couple and i think that you know a lot of people like the same going back to the single people you know if you meet somebody I do think, I really truly believe this, and I feel like there's a lot of people, because it's 2021, you guys don't even give yourself an opportunity to try to see if it's really going to work, right? right? You just kind of, it's jump and go, yeah. jump and go, yeah. jump and go, go to the yeah. next. So if you see a light somewhere in there, right, just maybe, you'd be surprised, Sport. like, you would be surprised if you truly love somebody, right? Mm-hmm how many things you would possibly change for that person. Mm -hmm. And that change could make them a better teammate, right? So for instance, when I met John, I used to smoke, right? I used to smoke cigarettes, two packs a day, terrible. I know, I know, we're all human, right? So, you know, he's like, "Uh -uh, I'm not having this. You're not smoking any more cigarettes, you're done. So I'm like, "Um, I mean, I guess I can give him up, you know? (laughs) <laughs> Obviously, this has helped my health immensely over the years. Immensely. You know, I don't sure. smell terrible, you know, all day oh, like an ashtray. 
Um, because that, that smells smells terrible. Now that I'm not a smoker, I can really smell it, right? It and now it's not even cool to smoke, right? Remember back in like 1980, it was kind of actually like it was cool at that time. You know, I guess you could agree to disagree. But anyways, this is what I'm saying: is you would make a change, yeah. you know, to be a better person for your significant other be a better teammate whatever that change might be i'm just mm -hmm. using that as an example mm -hmm. but you would be surprised so if you if you really really care for someone or you think you might really really like this person or you might possibly have future love for this person or you might see really good good stuff in this person mm -hmm. you could mold this person into being somebody that you really really truly can be with right. sometimes you just have to give a little effort it's true you it's know, definitely true. A little effort goes a long way. I mean, you know, even teammates, like I said, that don't like each other. Let's say when you apply this to a relationship type deal, you guys are fighting about something. But when you guys are out there in the game, right, out in public or out in an event or whatever it is you have to go do, that's when you guys pull together as a team. You guys do what you guys got to do. get the job done. Right? And at that point, you guys can go back to the conversation later. You can fight later. Uh, <laughs> <and> hopefully <laughs> clear up whatever the issue was, you know. Um, that's really what it's all about. So... Now, all this is about is is being a better couple, mm -hmm. being a good team member, coming through, following through, following being responsible, through. being trustworthy, right? If you say you're going to do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Help out. Make sure, you know, you're making your teammate better too as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's what it's all about. So, I mean, this is just one great tip from me and Sharice that we've learned through business, we've learned through relationship-wise. through business. Um, through business, you do, because me and Sharice are connected like 24-7. So. Literally, we, I mean, business together and we're together all day. All day. So, I mean, so, it, you know, really got to find that happy medium. You do. You <laughs> do. And when you have a great team member, you'll want to be around that team member all the time. No I know, just what. so much fun. If you got a bad one, then it's going to be like, oh, you know, I really don't want her. Yeah. So, make sure you guys are finding a good relationship with a good team member right because that's going to make all the difference in the future for you so uh this is just another great tip and trick from me and sharice we're here every sunday 11 a.m abc cupid's corner and if you can't check it out here make sure you guys are checking out youtube just type in tight medical center we've got all the shows there plus instagram and facebook it's on there too make sure you check it out Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe to our channel, right? And give us some great feedback on our Cupid's Corners. And we'll keep bringing you this great content and these great tips and tricks just from me and Sharice to you guys. So we appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Boom.